Shaman is going to observe World Kindness Day for the first time in Bangladesh. It's a day that encourages individuals to overlook boundaries, race and social status. During the 1999 World Kindness Movement Conference in Tokyo, the Cosmos by Bonatus was adopted as the official flower for the organization. Today, we are experiencing a transition from orderly to chaotic times. Currently, when the world is becoming unrestful day after day, it is only kindness, and always will be, one of the most influential forces for good that exists in the whole world. Kindness provokes our lives to help others. How can we promote kindness? Through honoring people, honoring each other, irrespective of color, caste, religion or rich and poor, and through caring and sharing. Kindness is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. And, this is free. Sprinkle it everywhere. No act of kindness, no matter how small is ever wasted. Just one kind word can change someone's whole day. Many children are being brought up with lack of generosity. Eventually we conceive that social monsters are indeed created at home and so are great achievers. Last but not least, history reminds us again and again, no matter what we see or hear, it is kind people and only kind people, who, at the end of the day bring true happiness in this world, they find happiness because they give happiness to others, yes, that's their greatest secret to success. So don't mistake kindness as weakness. Let's end this small talk with following video believing. Kindness is a love and love is magic. I personally am most unworthy. But I brought a girl child from the street. And I could see in the face of the child that the child was hungry. God knows how many days they had not eaten. So I gave her a piece of bread. And the little one started eating the bread crumb by crumb. And I eat, I said to the child, eat the bread. Eat the bread. And she looked at me and said, I'm afraid to eat the bread. Because I'm afraid when it is finished, I will be hungry again. This is a reality. Maybe we are not hungry for a piece of bread, but maybe there is somebody there in the family who is unwanted, unloved, uncared, forgotten. There is love. Love begins at home. And love to be true has to hurt. And this is what I bring before you. To love one another with great love. Thank you everyone. Let kind people unite together. Kindness begets honor. Honor begets kindness.